series and this is the series that you need to solve and this type of questions usually do we have into 20 marker or 17 marks into the exam section Hello aspirants, welcome to Plutus IAS and again in the series of series only, I am here with arbitrary series. See guys, I have seen students that they are very pretty much okay with the infinite series as well as some up to some level or up to some extent, they are okay with alternating series. But when it comes to arbitrary series, now, then there are some of the doubts and that is why I am here with arbitrary series. So for solving the convergence finding out the convergence of arbitrary series we do have two options or you can say two tests yes there are only two tests one is your Abel's test another one is Dritchlet test and without taking your time let's move to the tests directly so this is Abel's test what it's talk about Abel's test Dritchlet test whenever it comes to into mathematics now then you must have an idea then they would be talking about the product of something it may be product of series, it may be product of function, it may be pro product of function of series of the func functions, etc, etc. So they always talk about the products of both the things. So Abel says that if you have a series of kind this now, that it seems product of two things, A n and B n, then you can test its convergence by bifurcating it. Do consider A n. And what you need to show, show that this a n sequence or series, a n series is convergent and what about b n? b n should be a monotonic and bounded sequence. This should be sequence, it is series. Yes, one of the series should be convergent and another sequence should be monotonic and bound, bounded. So that is the result of Abel's. Then what about Dritchlitz? Dritchlitz Dritch again says, that do have product of two things and one is the series but it is not possible to find out the convergence of the series then what you can do then Dritchlet is saying that do find out the partial sum that is we do say Sn sum of first n terms and show that it is bounded so they says do form a sequence this is sequence of partial sum partial sums and it should be bounded okay and then second series sequence that do you have it should be non-negative monotonically decreasing and third thing is it should tend to zero if that can be these conditions are satisfied then you can apply digitally test okay now we'll see application of both of them so first first question is about Abel's test test series and this is the series that you need to solve and this type of questions usually do we have into 20 marker or 17 marks into the exam section so given series is summation n is equal to 3 to infinity n cube plus 1 raised to power 1 by 3 minus n divided by log n and here which one would be treated as a n which wouldn't be treated as b n see whatever is decreasing that we have to consider bn now the decreasing one by log n can be shown as decreasing decreasing sequence the remaining one is a n let a n is n cube plus one raised to power one by three minus n but we cannot show the convergence directly here what we will do we will rearrange this one first so okay summation how you how you would be rearranging take the maximum power of n outside so this would be one and if i do take n from here common then it would be n cube so one plus one by n cube raised to power one by three minus one and now expand this by binomial expansion so this is summation n outside and this is one plus one by three one by n cube plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 minus 1 but 1 by n cube divided by 2 factorial and so on minus 1 
how I am writing this one? Because if you have 1 plus x raised to power n as your series, then binomial expansion of this is nc0 1 plus nc1 x raised to power 1 plus nc2 x raised to power 2 factor and so on. That is the way that is how you would be expanding. So same is here. n and now this one would be cancelled from this one and what we do have 1 by 3 by n cube plus solve this one whatever you would be getting minus 2 set 2 would be cancelled and this would be 1 by 9 1 by n cube and so on and it's square as well so this would become 3 into 2 6 and 1 n is outside so do compensate this one and we will get summation 1 by 3 or you can take maximum value outside so n raised to power 3 would be into each and every term and if I would be taking n cube common then it would be 1 by n square so n square 1 by 3 minus 1 by 9 and cube I have taken common so it would be n3 and so on now this is the series that we do have and what we need to show that is whether it is convergent or not so in this case what we will be taking taking we will take the comparison test and we will consider another series that is bn so let bn is equal to 1 by n and n square and then we will find out limit n approaches to infinity a n by b n so whatever your a n is this one 1 by n square 1 by 3 minus 1 by 9 1 by n cube and so on divided by 1 by n square and limit n approaches to infinity so it would be what 1 by 3 which is a non-zero finite number non-zero finite so comparison test says that if limit n approaches to infinity a n by b n is non-zero finite then what would happen that <laughs> your a n and b n series they would behave into similar manner so here your a n is this one b n is this one and they would behave into similar manner but we know by p test but by p test what we have series b n is convergent why because here p is equal to 2 and which is greater than 1 yes so it is convergent and if b n is convergent this implies our series a n is convergent it is also convergent now second condition what we need to show about we need to consider about bn it should be decreasing series now what is bn here is go bn dash bol dijiye bn dash because bn we have already considered this is bn 1 by log n and we need to show that this series is sequence is decreasing now we know that log 3 because from there we need to start now log 3 is greater than log 4 or you can say or oh, log of n plus 1 is always greater than log n whenever your n is greater than equal to 3 because that is the thing that from where we need to start and for this one log of n plus 1 is always greater than log n so if you have to reverse this then it would be log of n plus 1 is less than log of n and this implies bn plus 1 is less than bn this implies sequence bn is decreasing and next what we need to check limit n approaches to infinity bn and limit n approaches to infinity bn that is limit n approaches to infinity 1 by log n and this is log infinity is infinity 1 by infinity would be 0 so what we have shown a n one part that is convergent the series corresponding to a n is convergent and sequence corresponding to b n is decreasing as well as it is tending to zero so all the conditions of your Abel's test has been satisfied and hence by Abel's test this test is this series is convergent so that's it for more lectures like this subscribe and like the channel like the video subscribe the channel and you would be getting more updates okay stay tuned and keep studying